Some combination questions and fractions. Simplify the following. 1 and 2 thirds divided by, in brackets, 3 fifths divided by 9 tenths. But math applies, so we have to work out the brackets first. So 1 and 2 thirds divided by, and we work out the brackets, 3 over 5. And we multiply by the reciprocal. Multiply by 10 over 9. 3 and 9 can cancel. 3 into 3 is 1. 3 into 9, 3. 5 into 5, 1. 5 into 10, 2. So 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2. 1 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3. Is equal to 1 and 2 thirds divided by 2 over 3. Which is the same as 1 and 2 thirds multiplied by 3 over 2. 1 and 2 thirds equal to 1 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. 5 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 2. Cancel further. 3 into 3 is 1. 3 into 3 is 1. So we get 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 5. 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2. It's good style to write this as a mixed number. We get 2 and a half. Again, we have to use board mass. You will be forgiven for thinking that you need to divide before you multiply because the sum reads 2 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 1 fifth divided by 5 and 4 fifths because this line in a fraction means divide but in actuality in the three denominators 1 and the denominators 1 so in essence there should be brackets around the, both the numerator and denominator let me show you what I mean in actuality how the sum should be interpreted is 2 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 1 fifth in brackets divided by 5 and 4 fifths the numerator should be treated separately and the denominator treated separately and they divided. 2 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 1 fifth. We're going to add fractions. 2 added to 1 is equal to 3. The LCM of 3 and 5 can be shown to be 15. 3 multiplied by what number will give you 15? 3 multiplied by 5. So we multiply 2 by 5 as well. 2 by 5 is equal to 10. Added to 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to 3. And this gives you 3 and 13 over 15 divided by 5 and 4 fifths. 3 and 13 over 15 is equal to 3 multiplied by 15 is equal to 45. 45 plus 13, 45, 55, 58. So we have 58 over 15 divided by 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. 25 plus 4 is 29. 29 over 5. And that is equal to 58 over 15 multiplied by 5 over 29. 5 into 5, 1. 5 into 15, 3. 29 to 29, 1. 29 to 58, 2. 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2. And 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to 3. The answer is 2 thirds. So we work out the numerator and then we divide by the denominator. We have to use bod mass in this numerator though. So let's work out the numerator. We're going to use bod mass. So you do the multiplication first before we do the subtraction. 3 and a half is equal to 3 multiplied by 2. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 3. 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 2, 1. We have 5 and 3 fifths minus 7 multiplied by 1 is 7. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3 minus 7 over 3. 7 over 3 is a mixed number. It's equal to 7 divided by 3 is 2 and 1 remaining. 1 over 3. So now we do subtraction to finish with the numerator. 5 take away 2 is equal to 3. The LCM of 5 and 3 is equal to 15. 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. So we multiply 3 by 3 to get 9. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. So we multiply 1 by 5. So we get 3. And 9 minus 5 is 4 over 15. So the numerator works out to be 3 and 4 over 15. So now we take the numerator and we divide it by the denominator. So we have 3 and 4 over 15 divided by 2 and 1 over 3, which is equal to changing these mixed number into improper fraction. 3 multiplied by 15 is equal to 45. 45 plus 4 is equal to 49. 49 over 15 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. 7 divided by 3. And that is the same as 49 over 15 multiplied by 3 over 7. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 15, 5. 7 to 7, 1. 7 into 49, 7. 7 multiplied by 1 is equal to 7. 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 5. Express it as a mixed number. 7 divided by 5 is 1. And 2 remain. 2 over 5.
So the answer to this problem is 1 and 2 fifths. Example 4. So we're going to work out the numerator first. And we're going to work out the denominator after. And then we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So we call 5 over 9. Take away 7 over 15. So we express both over the same denominator. What's the LCM of 9 and 15? 2 cannot go into 9 or 15. So we use 3 could go into both 9 and 15. 3 into 9, 3. 3 into 15, 5. 3 into 3, 1. 3 cannot go into 5 exactly, so we write back the 5. 5 into 1. 5 into 5, 1. 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9. 9 multiplied by 5 is equal to 45. So the LCM is equal to 45. Alright, so we're going to write both fractions as fractions over 45. 9 multiplied by 5 is equal to 45, so we multiply 5 by 5. 5 by 5 is 25. 15 multiplied by 3 gives you 45, so we multiply 7 by 3. 25 minus 21 is equal to 4. 4 over 45. Now we're going to work out the denominator now. 1 minus 5 ninths multiplied by 7 over 15. With board mass, we do multiplication before subtraction. 5 over 9 multiplied by 7 over 15. 5 into 5, 1. 5 into 15, 3. That one can reduce any further. We have 1 minus 1 multiplied by 7 is 7. 9 multiplied by 3 is equal to 27. So now we work out the subtraction. 1 minus 7 over 27. The LCM is 27. 1 take away 0 is equal to 1. We have 0 minus 7. We take 1 from the 1 to leave with 0. And this 1 as a fraction is equal to 27 over 27. So we have 27 take away 7 to give you 0 whole number and 20 over 27. So the numerator works out to be 4 over 45 and the denominator works out to be 20 over 27. Now we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 4 over 45 divided by 20 over 27. It is equal to 4 over 45 multiplied by 27 over 20. It is equal to 4 can go into 20. 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 25. 3 can go into both 45 and 27. 3 into 27, 9. 3 into 45, 15. 9 and 15 can be reduced further, yes. 3 into 9, 3. 3 into 15, 5. 3 and 5 cannot be reduced any further. So we have 1 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3. 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25. So the answer is 3 over 25.